how you're doing. This is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. And I am going to be working from, if you can't tell by the title, the Sophie and Toffee box, the February Elves box, coasters and trinket dishes. What I am going to be doing is the shell. This is going to be done in quite a few stages because I want two of these and there's only one in the mould. The plan is for the base one to be actually sand. And then the top one will be um, probably blues, greens, something like that. I'm still working on that colour. But to start with, we have the shell. We have the two-part epoxy resin, and that is the three to one. The trinket, this trinket dish requires 50 grams. So the measurements for that is uh, 37.5 of the A and 12.5 of the B. So I'll get to a measure that and then uh, I'll come back to you when that's all mixed up and uh, we'll go on with the next steps. Next steps, this is, the plan is to actually put uh, sand in and also, of course, a little bit of glitter. Now the sand is not craft sand. I um, went to uh, my hometown. I went to one of the beaches where the sand is so soft. Um, let's, let's see if we can hear. See how fine that sand is. It is so fine. It's as fine as corn flour and it's as white. Which is why when I went back home, I went and collected sand. So I'm just going to let this sit to try and get some bubbles out. And while I do that, I'm going to put some little decorations in. Now, this is sand. Something I've picked up previously. Got seashells. Got stars. So I'm going to just put some of these in, um, just on the base. Okay, so trinket is uh, filled up. Let's make sure it's topped up even further. And now they uh, will get left to set and uh, come back to you. It's been 24 hours, so I'm going to demold this. I already have released the air. So what I'm going to do is, or to say let release the air, I've actually released the sides a little bit. So I'm going to demold this. It is still a bit flexible, which is actually a good time to actually demold these guys because you can put them back into their shape and the mains, the mold comes off easier. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. I love that. Oh. Okay. Oh, this. Okay. I'm going to lift this up. See how I've ended up with the beautiful beach sand. It doesn't show up as white. But the beach sand has formed this lovely little lip. The embellishments are all set and there's none that are up. It's beautiful and soft, uh, smooth. So there we go. That is the base. So the plan is for the hinges to go on and then I've got one that will go over. I love that. So the glitter, there's a bit of sand in the base. Oh, wow. I'm wrapped. I'm wrapped. That came up better. Better than I expected. It probably, a tint colour would be nice, but when this camera decides to focus, <laughs> got the camera to focus. Next steps for this is, this one will just be put aside. I will need to only lightly sand these edges when it focuses on it. There's too much glitter. Um, because this is the base, so I do want this to stay nice and steady as it is. So that one is done. No, it's not done because I want, I'm, well, semi done, but not. What I do want to do is I'm looking at putting the gold resin on the, on the lip, but I'll wait until the top's done to really um, see whether that's what I want to go with. One of the things I will be doing with this is with the hinges, which came in the um, Elves box. So it's these hinges that will go uh, basically, if I can get my hand there, it will actually screw into there. I will attach with the resin, but I will also screw it in. So that's how that goes to join it. Okay, so next steps is just move that to the side. We're just purely measuring again like we did before. mixed up I will be using the alcohol inks for these and these are more as you drop onto um, <clears throat> onto the piece drop into the resin the other thing is from the under the seas box I have grabbed some of the uh, critters so I will be putting these guys on there, but I'll show you those once I, when I'm putting them on. The aim is to actually have more of the colour going around the lip and not on the top. I just want to encourage those bubbles up. <laughs> now, first time using alcohol ink, so I don't know how this is going to go. So what I'm going to do is just going to drop a blue here, a blue here, a, whoops, blue here, you see it's actually coming out, okay, well I managed to do that without getting res uh, ink on my hands, let's see if I can do the same with this one, yep, so Green, green, green. Uh, you can see these guys are actually starting to form together. But I want to encourage the colours to semi-blend. So what 
I've just done, I've done my playing with the colours. Now what I've just done is created a type of uh, negative space in the reverse way. That makes sense. And what I want to do now is I'll put some of these critters in on the top. So I've got the orcas. Whoops. They are. That was the way they were. I've left them as they were because I actually like the way they're sitting on top of each other like that. I need to poke it down. Oops, some of the colours are going to blend into it. Okay. A um, couple of shells. No, that's not going to pick it up. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple of little shells. Actually, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. So how many times do we do stuff and we go, oh, I'll just add more to it, I'll just add more to it. There is a couple of bubbles in here. I've come up to the surface. So what I'm going to do now is just pour more of the resin just to top it up. And I'm going to leave that one as it is. I'll put these back away. Okay, so another 24 hours and I'll come back to this one. We'll see what effect this has. I'm just going to, this is where you keep adding more and you go, whoops, I wish I hadn't, but I'm just going to add some blue like that and we'll see what happens. Okay, and just I might end up with uh, another dish that goes the other way around. <laughs> okay, there we are. I'm going to stop. No, I'm not going to stop playing because I'll do that. There we go. Just too solid there. There we go. Yep, stop playing. Otherwise, you're going to go and do more that you want. This one is now, it's no no longer flexible like it was yesterday. But this is the one that we poured yesterday. So let's, you can see that it's all moved around. The white has just, um, it's just the alcohol ink just goes around. When I first put this down, not much of the ink had gone around to the sides. It's going to be a pretty little effect. I have loosened the edges. I do loosen those so that I can see whether it's, um, well the initial, so that I can tell that it is set and okay to move. Um, if it was, if I wasn't happy with it being ready to move, I wouldn't have, wouldn't, you wouldn't be filming yet. So out it comes. Trust me, while they're still flexible like this, it's so much easier to get them out. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? Ta-da! And I've just realised that I should have put my killer whales up the other way. But here we go. What we have got, you can see when the camera decides to focus. Let's see how we go. We've got a lot of light going on around here. There we go. The killer whales are actually around the wrong way. <laughs> the actual just that the the side that I should have showing, now that I've learnt, <laughs> should have been on the other side. Okay, but that still doesn't matter because that still looks gorgeous. The plan from here is to actually get out the gold edging. So what, the, what ends up happening is you end up screwing this together. So it ends up like that with the hinges here and here. But what you also do, before I do that, <laughs> nice good seal on that, um, what I want to do is actually gold the edges. 
Um, and once I've got the, done the gold on the bottom edge, I'll check to see how I feel about the top. So the next steps with this is obviously this one now needs to sit and cure. Um, this one here is all good to go. So if you actually dig in this mould, you will have the brush. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this down <laughs> and just going to pop the resin and along here. So now it's just UV, just the light curing it. Doesn't actually say how long this takes to set. Um, how to use UV? How to use use UV light to cure the paint while painting the border of the trinket boxes. It's like I want to touch it, but I've, yeah, it's still tick, still a little bit sticky. The lamp would probably be the better thing to use, not the torch. While this was setting I attempted to work with the hinges and what can I say, putting the hinges on, the struggle was real. So uh, just this section, just watch me paddle with trying to get the hinges on. In the end I decided to leave them as the two shells. So uh, enjoy this little process. There we go. What do you think? I'm actually uh, not 100% happy with it. <laughs> but that's uh, artists and their own work. Leave me a comment which one do you think is prettier? The uh, Would you do something different? So here we go. So this has got the sand through it, the really fine sand. And the dish where I put the uh, holographic orcas, killer whales, around the wrong way <laughs> because I thought it would be the top. 
Well, doesn't matter. Probably a third one, I can make a nice little set of three. Guys, I will say thank you for watching. Comment below, what do you think? Give me your opinion. What could I have done differently? If you actually have done the Sophie and Toffee, how the heck did you manage to get those two uh, go together? Because I am struggling, I was struggling with it. Uh, maybe I can sit them on there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you uh, have actually done this this dish, let me know if you were able to get them to um, hinge together. And um, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello. Thank you for and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, obviously the bell, so you're notified when I go live.